Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video I'll be showing you my journey on how I made a game in two days for the GMTK Game Jam. Before I begin with today's video, I want to announce that you can officially play and rate the game right now. So if you want to support me, rating the game will help a lot. Also, we are so close to reaching 500 subscribers. So if you enjoyed the videos, make sure to subscribe because that keeps me motivated to make more videos. Alright now, without further ado, let's begin with today's video. The first thing that I did was to check what the theme was. In the end, the theme was revealed. The theme is out of control. The first thing that I thought of was a 2D top-down game with a dashing ninja. But the ninja never knew when and where he could dash, which means that he is out of control. After some time, I scrapped the idea of a ninja and I replaced him with an alcoholic. The dashing meant that he had difficulties while walking because he is obviously drunk. I created a project in Unity and right away I started working on organizing the folders because that's what I do with every game when I'm starting. After that, I made the main character, added him to Unity and added a simple idle animation. After that, I added a basic top-down movement. After I made the movement, I started working on the structure of the map by adding blocks. I also changed the background so that it fits the game more. I also made the player shoot in the direction of the cursor of the mouse. After that, I made the player turn around by making him look at the cursor, but of course it didn't work, cause why not? After some time, I finally made it so that it can work, and of course, the fix was easy and I somehow wasted one hour on just this. I also added red squares that kill the player when you touch them. After all of that, I added a camera that smoothly follows the player in the direction that he is going. After the camera, I added the first enemy, which follows you around. After that, I added two new important things. I added post-processing and I also added a second enemy which is taller and has more health. As you can see now, the game looks way better with post-processing. After that, I added a restart button for whenever the player died. I made it so that the player needs to press R to restart. After that, I added the most important thing in the game, the dashing. Now the player dashes randomly every now and then, which also means that the player is out of control. But that doesn't mean that the dash always works like it's supposed to. Ok ok, maybe there is a bug with the dash, but I couldn't do anything to fix it, since I didn't have enough time. So yeah, sadly you will have to expect some bugs to occur while playing the game. The last thing that I've added was random loot boxes around the map. These boxes will give you random perks like for example they will boost your speed or they will can slow down your fire rate and much more. The game is officially out on itch.io. You can download it today. The name of the game is Dashish Situation. The link to the game will be in the description and in the comment section of the video. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe because that keeps me motivated to make more videos. Stay tuned for more uploads and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.